Thank you for joining us and welcome to the MedStar Washington Hospital Center Medical Imaging School of Radiology 2023 information session. My name is Erica Lassley and I'm the Director of Radiology Education for the MedStar Washington Hospital Center Medical Imaging School of Radiology. My clinical coordinators, Latanya Lewis and Samantha Posnanski, will be our moderators for today. All mics have been muted until the end of the information session. We will have an open mic question and answer at the end of this session. If you have any questions before the end of the session, please submit your question in the chat box and one of our moderators will either answer your question or be sure that your, answer, your question is answered during the Q&A period. Meet the faculty. <clears throat> so from left to right, we have Ms. Posnanski, one of our clinical coordinators, Ms. Lewis, a clinical coordinator, and myself, the director of Radiology Education, Erica Lassley. Our agenda today, we'll talk about the history of MedStar Washington Hospital, MedStar's mission, vision, guiding principles and values, the history of radiology, radiologic technology, and MedStar Washington Hospital Center Medical Imaging School of Radiology, our program mission and goals, what are radiologic technologists and what do they do, admission requirements, the admission process, and an overall understanding of the MedStar Washington Hospital Medical Imaging School of Radiology program. MedStar Washington Hospital Center is a not-for-profit acute care teaching and research-based hospital with 912 beds. Founded in 1958, MedStar Washington Hospital Center is one of the 100 largest hospitals in the nation and its mission reflects a focus on being a high, highly reliable organization for the most complex cases in the region. MedStar Washington Hospital Center is nationally recognized by the US News and World Report for its Heart and Vascular Institute. We have the largest level one trauma center in the district. We also have the region's designated adult burn center and a comprehensive stroke center. Our, guiding, our mission, vision, and guiding principles and values. MedStar Washington Hospital Center is a valued member of MedStar Health and is dedicated to delivering exceptional patient-first health care. We provide the region with the highest quality and latest medical advances throughout excellent, through excellence in patient care, education, and research. Our vision is to be a trusted leader in caring for people and advancing health. Our guiding principle is to treat people the way we would treat a, a member of our own family by providing the best medical treatment with caring and compassion, responsive services, and intelligent uses of resources. Through this achievement, we will be recognized as the national model for excellence in patient-centered care. Our values are service, patient first, integrity, respect, innovation, and teamwork what we like to call our spirit values. The history of radiology, radiologic technology, and the MedStar Washington Hospital Center Medical Imaging School of Radiology. X-rays were discovered in 1895 by William Conrad Rankin. It was accidentally discovered 128 years ago. In less than three months, in January of 19, or 1896, the first hospital exam was performed on a young boy's wrist. Shortly thereafter, x-ray education began as an on-the-job training in hospitals, just like MedStar. As I said before, Washington Hospital Center was incorporated in 1958. In 1959, Washington Hospital Center started the Medical Imaging School of Radiology by its medical director and radiologist, Dr. F.V. Shoemaker, and chief technician, Chad Storr. Since its inception, we have graduated over 500 radiologic technologists, and many of those technologists have graduated from our program and continue to work for Washington Hospital Center for decades. Fun fact, in the 1970s, the medical imaging school students had the option to stay on site in our East Building in efficiency apartments. The mission of the radiology school. <clears throat> MedStar Washington Hospital Center Medical Imaging School of Radiology seeks to develop entry-level radiographers skilled in diagnostic imaging with a patient and family-centered care environment. 
This mission of the program is to produce well-educated, culturally and clinically competent, highly motivated medical imaging professionals who will safely perform diagnostic imaging procedures and provide safe care and compassion, compassionate patient care. We also have some program goals and learning outcomes for our students. Students will possess entry-level employment skills, students will communicate effectively, and students will demonstrate problem-solving and critical thinking skills. The way that we measure these is we look at their high-quality images, their safe, appropriate patient care, effective clinical communication with other healthcare providers, effective communication with our patients. Students will also analyze trauma patients and modify equipment and adjustments for non-routine exams. The MedStar Washington Hospital Center Medical Imaging School of Radiology is, falls under the Department of Radiology at Washington Hospital Center. In the Department of Radiology, we provide over 250,000 procedures annually in the, for patients in the DC metropolitan area. MedStar Washington Hospital Center Medical Imaging School is the only radiography program in the District of Columbia making it a significant pipeline for the area hospital and imaging centers. What is radiography and who are radiologic technologists? Radiography is the art and science of using ionizing radiation to produce images of the human body. Registered radiologic technologists, also known as radiographers, are members of the healthcare team who produce these images with the lowest amount of ionizing radiation necessary to assist the radiology, radiolo radiologists excuse me, in diagnosing and treatment of disease. Radiologists are our physicians who are specialized to read and interpret these in images for the presence or absence of disease. A radiographer accurately positions the patient, selects the lowest amount of radiation necessary to produce the radiographic image. We understand radiation protection and how to accomplish radiographic exams safely. Here are some radiographic images. We have a chest, we have a pelvis, a hand, an abdomen and chest, and what we call a C-spine or cervical spine. So what do radiologic technologists do? What we actually do is we obtain the images necessary to assist our physicians in diagnosing our patients. So it's as registered technologists or medical professionals who perform diagnostic imaging exams and administer radiation therapy treatments. RT practice, RTs practice in hospitals, clinics, physicians' offices, and many clinical specialties from prenatal to orthopedics. They are educated in anatomy, patient positioning, exam techniques, equipment protocols, radiation safety, and patient cares. RTs may practice general radiography or specialize in imaging techniques such as bone densitometry, cardiac or vascular interventional radiography, computed, computed tomography, mammography, magnetic resonance imaging, nuclear medicine, or sonography. Radiation therapists and medical disimetrists are technologists who specialize in radiation therapy, which is the application of radiation to treat cancer and other diseases. Registered radiologic technologists must earn an associate's degree or more advanced degree from an accredited hospital-based program or academic institution and pass a national certification exam. To remain registered, they must also earn 24 continuing education credits every two years. The largest certification agency, the American Registry of Radiologic Technologists, has more than 300,000 registrants. Wages of radiologic technologists are competitive with other healthcare professionals that have similar backgrounds. The admission requirements for the MedStar Washington Hospital Center Medical Imaging School of Radiology are as follows. Students must have completed a minimum of an associate's degree to sit for the ART certification exam. So students must be able to complete their associate degree requirements by the end of the fourth semester of our program without exceeding 20 total credits, meaning that students can begin our program while they're still in progress with their associate's degree. Applicants must have a GPA of 2.5 or higher, and they have to complete the following prerequisites. 
Anatomy and Physiology 1 and 2 with a laboratory component, English composition, medical terminology, a computer course, math and fundamentals of reasoning or higher. All prerequisite courses must be completed with a C or better for admission to the radiology program. Applicants will also take what's called the HESI admission assessment exam. We will use that cumulative score to rank our eligible students. International students must have college English or math or must pass the TOEFL test. They also must provide evidence of good health and pass a substance abuse screening and criminal background check. Students who will not be permitted to rotate into clinical sites until the MedStar Washington Hospital Center Occupational Health pre-employment physical and screening has been cleared. So students must also meet all of the minimum requirements of technical functioning as determined by our occupational health department. The school reserves the right to require student testing as it deems appropriate to see that these technical functions and demands are met. Our admission process opens on January 1st to April 1st of every year. Our applications will be on the MedStar Washington Hospital Medical Imaging School of Radiography webpage. You can scan the QR code to visit our website. It is a $25 non-refundable application fee that can be paid by cashier's, cashier's check, money order, credit card, Personal checks are not accepted. We also hold interviews with the MedStar Washington School of Radiology Interview Committee. Make sure that all cashier's checks or money orders are made payable to MedStar Washington Hospital Center. We also accept credit card payments in person or over the phone. Students must also send all official college transcripts to Katrina Wallace, the Administrative Direct Assistant, to the MedStar Washington Hospital Center Medical Imaging School of Radiology. Her address and email address and phone number are listed below. We will also upload a copy of this report uh, PowerPoint on the MedStar Washington Hospital Center Medical Imaging School of Radiology website. Students that have an international degree must have their degree evaluated by a service that is accepted by the ARRT. Typically, the World Education Services or one of those appropriate services will be the company that you would like to submit your degree to. Once those degrees have been evaluated, that would be served as your official transcript and can be sent to Katrina as well. After we receive all of the admission criteria, applicants will be notified via an email when to schedule their HESI A2 admissions test. Students will be responsible for the exam fee, which is approximately $51, and the proctoring fee. The proctoring fee is so that students can take that exam, the HESI A2 admissions exam, at their own time in their own home. After the committee has reviewed and considered each application individually, a notification of acceptance or denial will be sent to the applicant via email. Our selection process is, com is competitive. The committee will review each individual application. We will also examine the student's academic credentials, test scores, and the interview. We will take those previous, the, the grades from your prerequisites, and we will assign points based on your score that you earn. So for an A, it's 100 points. For a B, it's 85 points. For a C, it's 75 points. Our anatomy and physiology courses and lab grades courses are worth one and a half times the points. So for an A, it's 150 points. A B is 127.5 points. And a C is 112.5. All of these points are added and calculated, and then the students are calculated and numerically ranked. We will accept the top 10 students. The MedStar Washington Hospital Medical Imaging School combines classroom, laboratory, and clinical experience with increasing emphasis on the student's progress in the clinical setting. 
which means that we will start out with more didactic or classwork. And then as you progress throughout the program, students will then do more clinical work and less classwork. Our clinical shifts are anywhere between 6.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. and do not exceed 10 hours a day. Students will be in class or clinic Monday through Friday, and the days and hours occasionally will vary. We recently installed a simulation lab, which is dedicated digital strictly for our radiography students. Here are some pictures of our lab. We also have a full body, real natural bones, what we call a mannequin that students are able to take and make actual exposures on. Here are some of our students practicing patient immobilization in our simulation lab. And here are some of our students working on procedures in our, our lab. <clears throat> students will rotate through the following clinical sites. In MedStar Washington Hospital Center, we have a diagnostic radiology department, orthopedics, physician's office building, which is our outpatient radiology, fluoroscopy, which is like a movie, critical care radiology, the main operating room, third floor operating room, and portable radiology. Students will also visit Georgetown University Hospital, MedStar Radiology Network at Lafayette, and Children's National Hospital. Students will rotate, rotate through various areas at each of these sites, getting all of the exams that they need to be eligible to sit for the ARRT National Certification Exam. Didactic classes begin at 8 a.m. and usually in no later than 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Students will not exceed 10 hours a day or 40 hours a week. Students must achieve a grade of 77 or higher in all courses, and we do not offer an early graduation option. Students are enrolled in the curriculum for 22 months and receive semester breaks each year. Part-time study is not available. The curriculum is 70 credits. The credits are based on classroom hours, clinical hours, and lab hours. The classroom hours are one-on-one. -on -one, so for every one credit, we do one hour of class. For every two hours or one credit, we do two hours of lab. And for every one credit, there's three hours of clinical. Here's our curriculum as follows. So students have to have an associate degree or higher to be eligible for the exam. Students that have already earned the degree and have the prerequisites will be able to apply initially right away. Students who have not earned the degree can complete their degree at any community college or university, or they can use one of our pathways. We are currently working with the College of Southern Maryland and Trinity University to develop pathways for students. The Trinity University pathway is what we call a one-to-one -one pathway. Students will start one year at Trinity and complete all their general education requirements in addition to the prerequisite requirements. At the end of that first year, the students based on admissions would be able to complete the Medical Imaging School of Radiology, Radiology program, which would be years two and three. And then they would graduate with an associate's degree in radiologic technology and a certificate in radiologic technology. Students then would have the option to return to Trinity and earn a bachelor's degree for that last year, which would be year four. Students would pay tuition to Trinity for Trinity courses, and they would pay tuition to the radiography school or MedStar for the radiography courses. The College of Southern Maryland program is similar in that the students can do that pathway as well. They would complete one year of prerequisite and general education courses at College of Southern Maryland, enter in the Medical Imaging School of Radiology in the fall of the second year. They would still have eight additional credits to complete, but then students would earn a 
associate's degree from the College of Southern Maryland and a certificate in radiologic technology from MedStar Washington Hospital Center. Our tuition is $150 per credit hour for a total of $10,500 for the entire program. Tuition is broken up over each semester based on the credit hours for that semester. Because we do not offer federal financial aid, we do offer payment plans for tuition. Student tuition can be broken into two payments. So it would be the first half due at the first day of class and the second payment would be due at midterms. Again, tuition is $10,500. Books software subscriptions are approximately $2,000. The enrollment fee is $50. Uniforms are anywhere from two to $300. So the program total would be about $12,850. Comparatively speaking to all the other schools in our region, this is very affordable. Here's just a breakdown of our uniform costs. As I said before, we do not offer federal financial aid. However, eligible MedStar associates can receive tuition and re reimbursement through EdAssist. Eligible medical or MedStar ambulatory services associates can receive a $5,000 tuition assistance in addition to MedStar tuition reimbursement. There is a link here that will be available when you can click and they will give you more information about the MedStar ambulatory services tuition assistance grant. We also accept Sally Mae Smart Option student loans. Radiologic technologists make approximately $22 hours, dollars an hour in Virginia, which equals about $45,000 annually. Maryland is roughly $25 an hour at $52,000 annually. And in DC, $32 an hour which is $67,000 annually. As I said before, in 128 short years, radiologic technology has grown tremendously. And we are expected to continue to grow at a 12% rate, faster than the 7% average of most occupations. There is extremely high demand for registered technologists in the DMV area, with approximately 200 plus open positions in Washington, DC alone. Upon completion of a radiography degree, technologists have the option to go into advanced imaging opportunities. There's CT technologists, medical sonographer, radiation therapists, MRI technologists, mammography technologists, DEXA technologists, nuclear medicine technologists, interventional technologists, radiology assistant, PAX administrator, radiology administration, education, research, or even commercial, sales, applications, and services. The MedStar Washington Hospital Center Medical Imaging School curriculum is based on the American Society of Radiologic Technologists curriculum. We also follow the American Registry of Radiologic Technologists content specifications for the exam. We are accredited by the Joint Review Committee on Education and Radiologic Technologists and we are licensed by the DC Education Licensure Commission. <music>